Join us for the Santa Clara Candidates Bike Ride on the San Tomas Aquino Creek Trail. Hi everyone, I'm Anthony Becker, candidate for Santa Clara City Council. I'm Sud Singh, candidate for City Council District 5. Prabir Bhatia, candidate for District 1. Kevin Park, candidate for Santa Clara City Council District 4. And we're going to take a bike ride today on the Santa Tomas Creek Trail. So I hope you all join us on our tour. We got Kevin here on his scooter. We got Harbir. And we're all ready to go on our bike ride. We make our way down Agnew towards the entrance of the San Tomas Aquino Trail. Hi, we are standing right at the crossing of Agnew and our San Tomas Aquino Trail. The reality is people want to use this trail. I've talked to so many neighbors who say, please fix this trail, make it more accessible to us. And what do they hear back all the time? This is not a priority for the city. If we want people off the roads, we have to make our trails available. And this is one of the most important trails that goes from the beginning to the end, and it takes us to the stadium. We have to make this trail accessible for all of our residents. Here's a map of the bicycle detour on game day. Suds Jane will go into further detail. Hi, I'm Suds Jane, and I'm running for City Council District 5, but I'm an avid bicyclist, and I ride this, San, this beautiful San Tomas Aquino Trail regularly for exercise. And uh, one of the things that, that has annoyed me for a long time is the closure of this trail on game and event days. And what you see here is you see this is the trail, the red line, and then this is the detour. And it goes through parking lots, it goes through neighborhoods. It's really inconvenient and it's dangerous because it's not a separated lane just like this. You wouldn't want your child to be riding on these roads. You want them to be on this protected bike lane. And I think it's ridiculous that we have to close this section on event days when in San Francisco at uh, Giant Stadium, people can ride right up against the wall of the stadium with backpacks. There's, there's really no issue there. And yet we've made a really big issue that we can't, we're worried about people with backpacks riding on this trail. So um, I think we need to open this trail to figure out how to get the security right and just open this trail just like they do in San Francisco. I agree with Suds. We need to make sure that we can open this bike trail as something that was promised during Measure J. The thing is we need to work with the city and also the stadium authority to make this happen. For more about the San Tomas Aquino Creek Trail, look for these signs around the city. Here's the map of the San Tomas Aquino Trail, or south to north, on how the trail goes to these locations, passing Cabrillo, beside of San Tomas, along all the way up past Monroe, along the backs of industrial businesses. It goes underneath Caltrain, under 101, along by Agnew, where we start, on the back side of Great America, all the way under 237. That's the San Tomas Aquino bike trail. As we continue on the trail, we are now behind the Great America theme park. There's Kevin Park, Harpier Bhatia, and Suds Jane. There's me. Beautiful day for a bike ride. Here we are approaching Levi Stadium. We have these great assets in our North Side District 1. Behind me is our Levi Stadium, and the opposite side of me is Great America. This giant asset is not making any money for us because of the poor management between the stadium authority and the 49ers. We cannot let that go on. We are in a deficit and we have to make this work for us. To be able to build the, the bicycle trail, go underneath this, and then have a straight walkway here. So there should be a way to have this just submerged in a, in a tunnel. And, uh, and then we can continue to have the bike the bike lane open and we won't interfere with the crowds coming to the stadium. I also agree with Suds Jane on the issue of submerging the bike trail so then you have overpassings for people to get by to get through security. 
This will solve the issue and keep the bike trail open on game days. I also personally feel that the trail should be open on game days as a way to get people to the game without their car. A way of using less cars and more motivation for people to use biking or public transit. We continue our way passing the bridges near Levi Stadium. Then we take the underpass under Tasman. Now we come up and we're now we're behind the Santa Clara Convention Center. Over there is where the related project will be built and also where David's restaurant used to be. Here's the creek. And now let's go to Kevin Park. So I'm here at former David's restaurant and banquet hall. And uh, this was the property that was that the city closed down. They've already closed down Centennial and Stars and Stripes. Uh, they used eminent domain to get rid of David and David's restaurant, something that they said they wouldn't do. And if you take a look behind you, you will see that there is plenty of room to build a road or an access way to this area without taking down this restaurant. The fact that the city did it with an eminent domain and the fact that uh, the city did it by not re renewing David's lease and the fact that the city did it by creating a plan that, that requires the bulldozing of this property tells me that the city wasn't really acting in good faith for David. They wanted to get rid of David. They treated him very unfairly. The entire process was just a shame. I'm really sad to be witness to such, such unfairness. Yeah. This has started in 1985. That was the same year I was born. David has been a long time business owner here in the city of Santa Clara. And the way Santa Clara put him out is the wrong way of doing business. Santa Clara needs to work out better deals and better ideas before getting rid of long time business owners that have helped this city immensely. This restaurant has been here for years, as you, as you heard the others say. The most important part is knowing how to protect your long time loyal uh, small businesses and residents. Recently, you've heard a lot of noise about, oh, how great we are as a city supporting our small businesses. Well, actually, that was just probably an excuse because if you see their, their record and how they've treated amazing businesses like David's, you would have seen, expected different. They gave him very minimal compensation for this, this restaurant that's been here for so many years. How would they handle others if they did this to David's today? They clearly did not care about this small business because if they did, they would have put them in place just like they did for um, Whole Foods, just like they did for Il Fernayos, for Opa, all these restaurants. The reality is they did not want to help him out. David's Restaurant and Banquet Hall, as you can see, it's been shut down. Stars and Stripe and Centennial have been shut down. This is for the coming related City Place project, a massive $7 billion project. They basically kicked David out and they gave him very little compensation for the for this seven billion dollar development. They could have done better for him. They should be doing better for our small businesses. I'm just appalled at how badly he's been treated. Thank you. I hope you all enjoyed our bike ride on the Santa Tomas Aquino Creek Trail. Get out and take the Santa Tomas Aquino Creek Trail. Take your bike, go for a jog, a walk, or even ride your scooter. Thanks for joining us everyone. And this was a collaborative effort by Harbir Korbatia, and I'm running for Santa Clara City Council District 1. Learn more about me at www.voteherbeer.com. Vote, H-A-R-B-I-R dot com. I'm Kevin Park, candidate for Santa Clara City Council District 4. For more information, please visit my website, kevinpark.org, kevinpark.org. Hi, I'm Suds Jane. I'm running for Santa Clara City Council District 5. If you'd like to know more about my campaign, please visit my website, www.votesuds.com. Anthony Becker, candidate for Santa Clara City Council District 6. For more, go to my website, www.becker2020.com.